Hello, welcome back to Reed. It's going to play through a Marvel's Midnight Sun on the PlayStation 5 from part number 54. And we need to speak to Logan, who is just through the door there. I basically walked up here and it teleported me to my quarters, which was nice. But before we speak to Logan, we're going to speak to everybody else first, of course. Um, common room, join a hangout. So I need my Blaze phone for this. We must find him again before Lilith does. Come on. Where are you? Honestly, this thing just changes. So the Avengers mix with Midnight Suns. Uh, and so you need to go up. You're already Bam! done. The X Avenging Sons. You're three. Okay. You're two. The X Sons who avenge at midnight. Think, Can't Robert. do them two. Think. Oh, I saw a listing for a four-story walk-up, Upper West Side. Maybe your new sanctum. Tony, I can't think about that now. The sanctum wasn't just a home. It's just easier to do it this way. Iron Man is at 325. Okay. Hey, I heard about this crazy video online. A monkey. Let's do Blade. You want to take a look? No. I think you'd love it. Maybe they were enchanted. Uh, deep conversation. Have a drink is good. Critical damage plus two. Lovely. Been meaning to ask, when you woke up and saw a half vampire in the abbey, well, was your first thought about killing me? You had not proven yourself an enemy, so I did not treat you as such. As long as you think fast, there's a fine line between choosing your target and hesitating. If I ever... If I become a threat to the rest of you, or to the people out in the world, what I'm asking is, if I lost control, would you stop me? Could you do what needs doing? If you are ever a threat to yourself and others, I will treat you like any other vampire. Good. I don't know how Lilith does her thing, but I refuse to become one of her fallen. If there's ever a question, I want you to know my answer. I understand. All right, then. Uh, Wonder Gore. It's probably... Yeah. In this guy's no... Photography is not really his thing. Magic for normies. Maybe that'd be decent. That's probably good for Nico. Hmm. He likes meditating, so that could be that. Jeff will do for Marvel. Uh, root beers of Canada. Give him the root beers of Canada. Didn't expect Plus to five. have that much fun. So critical damage is up 37% to 37% now. Not quite enough for that. Um, what else have we got? Need to speak to Iron Man. Oh, Hunter, you're here to... They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower. Or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? I understand why you did it. The fewer people who know about the parchment, the better. 
That's exactly right. When everyone operates on a need-to-know basis, they can focus. Is that how you are able to focus? Well, no, I need to know everything. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, uh, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much. Especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! <sighs> I gotta get a sign. <laughs> okay. So, now we need to meet up with Wolves. He's been on the cards for a while, so... Weird that constantly impressed by you, Hunter. When we f ah, there's the cat. I've got three compliments now. Now we have Ebony in here. And the forge we have Charlie. Oh, I'm gonna go and pet. Uh don't need to compliment you. Most people are probably asleep now, so. Good girl, Charlie. Literally achievement for petting your dog on 15 days in a row, and I think I've missed a day. So I should have, should have done it by now. Right, everyone's asleep, so let's go and speak to Wolverine. You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much, but that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got, well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time though, He's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Well, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. <laughs> you talk like that. Now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other planets? Yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you, though. After a while, all you really care about is a nice, soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. Uh, what do you know about Johnny Blaze? What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. He used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance, until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. 
He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. Uh, the history. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your Abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine. Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse? Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Sir, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. Cool. Does she knows something how, how to fix this issue, I guess, then. standing there hunter what are you reading Nico a limited edition print of the book of Thoth the book of Thoth where did you find the book of such rarity I didn't someone just left it out weird too because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. It does seem to be one of the centers of supernatural activity around here. You feel that too, huh? Sometimes when I'm in here, all the hairs on my neck stand straight up but in a warm and fuzzy, friendly ghost kind of way. Find anything helpful in it? I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathod. Wait, that is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Do not get your hopes up too much. It is probably just an account of an unexplained disease or just a legend. Some legends are real. You should know that since you literally are one. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. 
Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So like, when the Lightworker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the Pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No. But the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have Magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000 year old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes. Nico, that sounds too dangerous, even for you. I have to try something. Caretaker will not be pleased if she hears about this. Caretaker can deal. Well, I'm gonna find magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Lost friendship points on that one, but it is what Glad it is. Glad to see Nico found the book I left out for her useful. Took me a while to dig that one up. Um... Having one of them will be useful. Oh, lovely, dear. You're a natural. Um. And heal. That was expertly done, Hunter. Right, I think we are done with that. So let's head to bed. 16 minutes. Expecting a, a Lilith sit here. Does not look like we are. Caretaker wants to chat, so we've got a gamma. Of the race. Yeah, we want a um wrong way, Paul. We've got a new friendship increase. I wanna ask you something, but you can't make fun of me, okay? Fire away, Robbie. Well, there is this online video game tournament, and I was kinda wondering. Will you be my player too? Of course I will be your player too, Robbie and slay digital demons by your side. Really? <laughs> you sure you don't want to be player one? No, no. You have earned that title. I am happy to follow your lead. So, what did I do to deserve this honor, Robbie? I could ask you the same question. What did I do to deserve all your confidence in me? I rarely meet someone as true and honest to himself as you, Robbie. Which explains how you can master the spirit of vengeance without letting it control you. Calling someone like that back home can get you a nice beating. But I'll take it as a compliment. I sometimes wonder if you still think that way if it wasn't for Sparky. Don't get me wrong. We're a solid duo. There's no doubt about it. But on my own, would I be that great? I'm not so sure. Yes, Robbie. You cannot make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And you were no sow's ear. I wasn't trying to. I don't think I was. I have known you long enough to know you were the real hero, without Sparky. You cannot fake that. Okay, okay, fine. You've made your point. Repeat it until every last bit of doubt is erased from your mind. Starting now. I am the hero. Perfect. Okay, up to level 4. Healing Soul Meter increases his maximum health by 15%. Soul Meter requires one less soul to fill. That's good. Alright, so we need to talk to the caretaker. Robbie, there's the caretaker. Charlie is there.
Okay. Okay. Morning, Blaze. Want to do some spirit of vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh, man. I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. From what I understand about Blaze, he is not one for brotherhood. Oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't know I had an audience for my little self pep talk. Just trying to hype myself up. If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just Robbie Reyes from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? Be yourself. You do not want to follow in Blaze's footsteps. He does not seem like a role model for anyone. Really? He's always seemed like the best to me. I think the wisest thing to do would be to chart our own path. Look at me. I'm standing here in the middle of Ow. this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? I follow my moral compass and do what I believe is right, no matter what others say. What if you, you know, don't have a moral compass? Or your moral compass is a demon that lives in your head and isn't just a talking cricket? Then I suggest developing one of your own. Crickets are untrustworthy. Well, thanks for the heart to heart, or demon to demon, <laughs> or whatever. Y you've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. Need to upgrade a. Um, numeric ability, but I need to grab one first. Okay. A bit too much of wall three. The old three four. Heroes draw a card when an ally knocks an enemy into them. That's really good. Get started right away. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. What's up? Sometimes I need to pounce. Chain two, full combo, gain one strength. And full combos when you use it all on one person. Holy burst. Punch. Fury. So we'll grab this. Uh, final. Don't really care about finals. Holy spark. I feel like I can automate this process and take. See you, Hunter. And then we want this. Outfit wise, what can we do? Get the X Force. Oh, my God. Grab this. Ah, oh, yeah. Right, and then hero. Um, lethal pounce. It's a chain, I think. Six hundred health. Eight percent. Hmm. 
willpower is the health recovery. Him having help willpower will be useful. Right, let's need to start working on him as well. That was a hell of a sparring session, Ileana. Haven't been this sore since Whipper. It's one of the perks of being underestimated. Have you ever considered joining Shield? Spy stuff? Hey, can I ask a favor? Upgrade a light hunter ability. Thanks, Hunter. Sure. Two. Let's compliment him. Too bad you had to die for it. Uh, anybody else out here? No. Nico's down there. I think that was Nico. Can't stop thinking of all the terrified yeah. civilians. Combat therapy, I need. Yeah. Him. Sparring. This is damage bonus applied to critical cards. Combat bonus for selected hero. He's up to 23. Sure. Ain't gonna go easy, bub. Critical damage is 30%, that's good. No pain, no gain. We'll come by apply weak. Let's see him try to handle me now. Right, so we need to go and craft a card, a light card to upgrade. Task for us. That's dark. That's light. Got plenty of that. Does this meet your specifications? Day, Hunter. What have we got? Yeah. Hopefully one in the same thing. Time's wasting, Hunter. New and improved. Yeah, Thanks, Hunter, Hunter Light Ability Epic. Looking forward to our Couple next all heroes in gains for two turns. Mm, not great. Not Demons, great. Prophecies, Hydra winning all the fights. Climate change. Earth is so, Robbie. Speak to these guys. Come on, Blaze. Show yourself. I'm running out of ideas. Don't worry. That much big asshole energy can't hide for long. You have more faith in our tech than I do. Less in the tech, more in you. How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off grid. Oh, I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events, but Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super sight is going to go all squiggly. Perhaps there is a silver lining in his inability to be found. There is? Because I'd sure love to hear it. Think about it. If the great Captain Marvel cannot locate him, then Lilith does not stand a chance in hell of finding him either. Hmm, good point. But I'd still like to find him. If not for securing the parchment and preventing your mother's gothy Armageddon, then just for the principle of it. 
I don't like to lose. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. Do let me know when you find them. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You can't hide forever the under whatever backwater rock you've crawled under. Not for me. Speak to her. Good. This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. Self-pity? That is not you. No self-pity. It's fact. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. Um, so... about Agatha... I know you miss her, kiddo. She used to keep us from butting heads as much as we do. No, I meant... Wait, I need to say this. I've been less than my best without her at my side. Especially to you. But this is the wrong time to talk about the past. About Agatha. All right. What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. All right. Hunter, hello. So make sure I've read this. Yeah, I read that. Looking to see if the cat was in here, but he comes out at night. It's good to have you around again. My powers don't feel like they're enough. Good thing I've got brains. Right. Yes, don't need to compliment Peter. Go and just do with Charlie. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Right. So we need to do a mission. Compliment him. Feels like it's approaching Ooh. last stand territory. Right to a haven. What have we got? Painting. Let's assume the person to paint. Painting, painting. Bird watch. Mushroom hunting. He likes that and bird watching apparently. Let's go to the damp hill. This place makes my skin crawl. We could do something else. I meant the abbey. The air always feels wrong here. Makes my hair stand on end. It never used to be this bad. You were right. Something feels off. Think your mom left a nasty present back in the day? No, but it might be the Gamma signature. You lost me. The laws of science and magic have shifted. That might affect the Abbey in ways we do not comprehend. Oh, then there's no point getting worked up about it. Why not? can't change the inevitable. You gotta learn how to adapt to it. 
Right. Luxury bites. That'd be good for Captain America. That's for Reyes. He was in there. there if I didn't know better, I'd think you read my mind. There we go. Always something. 21 points, so he's going to level up. Right. Let's grab these. And then with that, I think we'll call this one an episode, ladies and gents. We will head out into the wilds again in the next one hello my sweet Might as well pet him and uh yeah we shall i'll probably take wolverine out for another spin um so i need to do that just for the research upgrade anyway but it's always nice to use a new character i don't know who else i'm going to take with me yet um we'll see but uh please like comment subscribe the good stuff really does help me out and there'll be some more Marvel's Midnight Sun coming away shortly. And I'll see you all in the next one.